how to use Powtoon. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Powtoon and how you can use it to create amazing looking videos. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, Powtoon is a video editing tool that you can use to create different types of videos, such as over here, you can create videos, you can create whiteboard animations or doodlings, animated videos, screen recording, presentations, and custom characters as well. So it's pretty amazing. And you can create all these different types of videos that you see over here. So let's get started. Now, once you're on this website, just simply click on the sign up button right here. And before we do that, let me just show you the pricing plan. So over here, these are the pricing plans. So they're basically three plans, but you can also go with a free plan as well. So in these three plans, you have the pro, the pro plus and the agency. The pro is $20 per month, and it will give you five premium exports per month, access to pro and free content, two gigabyte storage, and you will have many more options down below. And for the pro plus, you get unlimited premium exports, up to 20 minute video footage, 10 gigabyte storage, you get Powtoon branding removed, you get download as MP4, you get all of these in the pro one as well, and you also get character outfit customizations as well. And in the agency, you get unlimited premium exports, up to 30 minutes full HD, 100 gigabyte storage, and you get Powtoon branding removed, download as MP4, privacy control, and all of the other options that you see over here. And on top of that, you get character face customization, character branding customization, third party resale rights, upload custom fonts, and advanced animations as well. And you get royalty musics as well. So over here in the free plan, you only get free soundtrack only, and you get free objects only. Whereas in the pro version, you get pro level access and pro level access on both of them, unlimited access to all the royalty footages, musics, and objects, and in the agency one as well so it's pretty amazing so we're going to go with the free plan for now so we're just simply going to click on start here and we're going to sign up so over here we just enter in our email address or we can continue with google or facebook it all depends on you so i'm going to click on google and once you have signed up this is how it looks like so pretty much this is how you're going to use it and uh, i don't know if you can download this software let me see so i don't think you can download powtoon but uh, I think you can download the videos as well. But I think that's only available in the in the uh, premium plan. So for the free plan, you just use it to get a feel of it. And then you can choose whether you want to buy it or not. So as you can see, we can create animated explainer, whiteboard animation, marketing videos, presentations, screen recording, build your character brands, and all of that, right? So let's get started. So over here on the left side, we have the create button, the home, the templates, imports, and blank. So if we click on create button, we can create animated explainers, whiteboard videos, presentations, and all of that. So if you wanted to create a animated explainer, just simply click over here and you will get all these bunch of different options. So you have Pro Plus, uh, you know, you have all these different uh, animations that you can use. So you have this one right here that you can go ahead and use it. So you can edit it in studio. So if you click on that button, it's going to open up the studio in another tab so that you can go ahead and edit it. But uh, pretty much this is how it looks like. Now, if you wanted to create a blank one, all you would have to do is just simply click on the blank option over here on the left side. It's going to start from scratch. So over here, you choose which type of, you know, um, timeline you want, a vertical, square or horizontal. I'm going to choose horizontal. It's going to open up over here and as well. So this is how you know it basically looks like so i understand it's a little too much right i understand this is a little too much but don't worry it's very simple uh over here on the left side you have your slide so each slide will be like a canvas each slide will be like i think uh, about five or ten seconds long and then it'll move over to the next slide so you can create unlimited slides that's a plus and then what if you want to let's say you know add an item so this is how it basically looks like let me actually go back to the first slide and play it all from the beginning right so if you wanted to add like these objects all you would have to do is come over here all you would have to do is come over to the right side and you will see you have your text characters props shapes images and videos and all of that you just simply click on these options and they will give you the object that you're looking for and then you can drag and drop them over here so as you can see it's pretty nice so this is how it looks like now if you wanted to move this you could move this to the right left however you wanted to you can move other objects as well now we can't interact with other ones because i feel like uh that those are the pro versions but uh, over here on the left side we have a bunch of different ones so 
almost every single one of them is available in the for the pro one i mean you can't really get it like a few of them are available in the free version but most of them are available for the pro now let's say you wanted to add like a laptop or a screen again all you would have to do is just simply drag or drop them or just simply click on them and then move them where you want it so maybe i wanted to have it over here so i'll just you know create i'll just put it over there and i'll just maybe like rotate it a little bit you know hide the keyboard maybe so yeah that's a little weird but yeah you get the idea you get the general idea of it so down below you're gonna have your timeline over here you have your jan option now what will happen is over here before that it's just the character and then you have the letters as you can see over here you will have your letters that pop up as you go and as you go their animations duration is going to be shown over here now if i wanted to move it beforehand i could move it over here and then it's going to start writing that time where i dragged it so for example over here this was jan right so this was meat so maybe i wanted to move it over here and i could move that and this was i think jan yeah i think i can move that over here as well so as i said before it all depends on you maybe like over here i'll drag that over there and i'll drag that over here over here we have two ones we even have the lcd one as well so i'll actually move the lcd one from the start so let's go back over here and then we have the other scene as well so over here we have nothing and then as you can see you get pops up as you can see over here so if you wanted to create something like this i mean you can create it it's pretty simple uh all these animations all these props all these videos and images or shapes are going to be given to you by default and you all you have to do is just simply drag and drop them and use your creativity to create these videos so this was for the uh you know animation videos now what if you wanted to create something from the blank as you saw i have a blank canvas over here as well so let me actually do this so in the character section we can see we have all these different characters that we can use so we have rhapsody over here we have boho we have all these different ones we even have the office so these are like the free ones that we can use so they're nothing too crazy they're like basic ones uh they don't have a lot of fancy editing or fancy animations but yeah i think that looks good so we have this one as well so i'll actually do this so over here i'll put that but i'll put this over here on the later section but first i want to go ahead and increase it and i'll put it right over here all right then i want to add like a maybe you know props or shapes so over here we have basic shapes over here we have basic shapes uh you have animated shapes slides character flows you know elements as well so if we click on the design elements we can see we have a bunch of different options so maybe like if we wanted to have like a circle and i wanted to put this over here and i wanted to you know put it backwards so i'll just simply right click on the element and send it to backwards something like that i think that looks nice so if i were to like play this so this is how it looks like right so now as you can see this one ha already has an animation on it so what you can do is let me actually click on this one so over here you can see you have your pose you have your angle you have your color filter and then in settings you can see you have animation as well so you want to click over here you can see you have no animation then you can go ahead and do that or you can put it play it in a loop or you know no animation or you can set a timer to how many you know times does that person does it you can even put it in a loop as well so i think at least five times looks nice now as i said before if you wanted to have like a different animation you can add different effects to it as well you can maybe add like a hand drawn or hand to you can add like a pop-up or a fade i think a fade looks nice so we're gonna do that you can go with the slide in left side or whatever but i think fade looks nice so now if i see it now it's gonna fade in instead of coming from the left side it's gonna fade in as you can see over there now that looks pretty nice so you can go with that one or you can go with different ones so as you can see you have a bunch of different options over here you even have audio as i said before you can go ahead and add some audios as well so you have all these different premium audios that you can play or listen to and you can go ahead and add them as you see fit right so i understand i don't really do a lot of video editing so i'm not that creative but from my point of understanding if i were to create a simple presentation type video then i think i can easily create this with powtoons and it's pretty amazing so you can go ahead and set that as a background or whatever maybe like a tiger i know it looks weird but heh, yeah but i think you guys understand what i'm talking about and once you have you know created your video 
all you got to do is click on save over here and it'll save the video now as i said before you can't download the video as this is a free plan so if you wanted to like export the video you have to upgrade it to like a pro uh, you know plan to get that option so yeah so pretty much that's it that's how you use powtoons and not only the, do you can you create these types of videos but you can also create as i said before uh, whiteboard animation presentations marketing videos and as well so you have a bunch of different options that you can do so that's how you do it that's how you use powtoons so if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that thank you guys for watching and if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.